Hey guys, it's me, me, and here we're going to be doing Meta Nightmare Ultra. Finishing it up here and actually finishing up this game in Kirby Superstar Ultra. Let us begin and start. Of course, level 5. Let's begin. I lost all my data, so I have no more powers. I can't make a little night guy until I get some, you know, more powers. Let's enter. And of course, you get the Meta Knight battle theme going on here as he travels up to the sky over to uh, Galaxy's End, I believe it is. Anyway, interesting thing of note here, he's actually going to go over here and gather up the uh, seven star pieces that he got before to gather up Nova. Except, this here actually confirms that there are actually two Novas in the game. Because it is canon what he did here to actually get the Novas together. However, um, it cannot be the same Nova that was in the beginning of the game. But why is that? Well, we'll get into that later. Anyway, let's just go over here. And of course, we're just blasting through here. And destroying these guys. So just, just blasting through here, getting some points. We have the battle suit, Night Call, and let's get our little guy there. We have to change the season to ice, or, or winter rather, not ice. Uh, ice isn't really a season, at least I'm not aware of. So, let's just go for last through here. And just continuing on. Hope these guys just chill out for a minute. Ha! <laughs> uh, anyway, I guess if we go in here, I guess I can't go much further without going through here. Yep, so let's just go over here. Because the snow piled up before, I can't go any further. We have to go in here. And up oh, one more time. And there we go. Alright, so let's go up here, and that's the end. And here we are with Wispy Woods here. Unfortunately, we have to kill him this way because, well, I don't have enough mock, mock tornado. So, uh, oh well, no big deal. That one's down. Let's only kill this one. I could have just used mock tornado if I had enough points. I could have just killed him off that way. But I didn't. Oh well, it's my own fault. Not the way, not too big of a deal, cause it dies. Yay! I like the way Meta Knight jumps. He does like a little flip. And then he actually flies underwater, losing his wings as a uh, sort of flipper? I don't know. I still don't like the way Meta Knight actually uses a sword in the water. Like, he should use his sword like that guy over there. Is that like our helper? He should use it like that, like Kirby would, but not Meta Knight. Meta Knight just uses his own. Like, he actually slashes like he would sword normally. But not really too big of a deal, I suppose. Let's just go down here in the water. And break this down. Break that. Get some points. I'm already up to like uh, 40 points. Nice. Making some good points here. Just flying around here. Underwater. Uh oh. Up. Uh, crisis averted. There we go. We're healed. Yay! Just killing everything in our sight. Now, before. Oh yeah, let's go down here and get these one ups. Why not? Not really much of a purpose. Let's grab this candy as well. And let's do our back to full health. Now, if you take up this little cannon here, we actually couldn't go up here before because you didn't have like a jet ability or anything to use this in, as Kirby before. But if you go up here, there's just one one up, and that's it. Nothing necessary, but hey, one ups always help, especially against the final boss. Although the final boss is actually. Well, we'll get there in a moment. Not really in a moment, it'll be quite soon before we. Uh, be a long time before we get there. Uh, by the end of the episode, at least. We'll get there by the end of the episode. That's something, right? That's a relatively short amount of time, I suppose, in a way. Now up to 50 points. Might as well just heal. Yep, now we're back to full health again. In case you were, you know, any any case of losing at all health. Continuing on. Kill that guy. Kill these guys. You get this food here. And feed him if, you did, if he's not at a full health. Then you go in here. Just fall all the way down. No need to actually go in there because that's just if you want to get a sword power. But we already have sword for one and for two. Well, we can't actually change our power anyway. It's not really a big deal. Just go over here. Go down this way. Same way what you did before, basically. Then you go up here. D no, I didn't want to. Arc. I hate this. If you don't go up fast enough, you go through the door, apparently. I really wish my knight would actually swing his sword like Kirby would. But that's just my personal preference. So let's go over here, go around, go down here, go over here, make our way over down, and there we are. Where I actually wanted to go to before, so let's just head on and rush, and that's the end. So now we fight Fatty Whale, right here. Wait for him to come on screen, and Mock Tornado, just to lower his health a lot. How much damage will it do to Fatty Whale? Let us find out. It does about over half. Nice. Okay. Super effective. Let's go ahead and kill him out. And come on. Just 
one more hit. And he's dead. Yay! Meanwhile, heal. We're back to full health again. Yay! And now we're heading back over to Bubbly Clouds, I believe its place is called, with the Candy Mountain music, which is odd enough. Just blow through here. Don't even worry about the enemies. Just blow through here as fast as you can, because there's no real point. Otherwise, just do it. Do it! Blast through the enemies! But even, you can even go in this cannon if you want to. There's some milk there. But, in fact, all the ability powers actually are replaced by milk. In case you, you know, didn't know that, there you go. In fact, every single ability station I would have saw is actually replaced by milk. Go in this door. Then go in this door. And look, there's the end. Yay! Food, and go in here. And then here's Krako. Yay! Mock Tornado. I think that would actually kill Krako, actually. Oh, no, I guess not. Surprising, because Krak Krako's health isn't actually all that high to begin with. Alright, whatever. Well, there you go. Just killed. Yay! And now we are in the fire planet. Probably what, probably really hard to maneuver around with Meta Knight just for the fact that, well, there's fire everywhere. Now, normally I don't do too bad at this, but the fact I'm trying to narrate as well is... Alright, I'm going to try to heal. Just let me heal. There we go. See, no, my practice run, I didn't run into the walls, like, at all. But, of course, I'm, not, I'm trying to narrate this at the same time. My results aren't as good. That's just the way it usually works. Always. Go in there. Just get some points in case we need to heal again. Which he looks like we might need to very shortly, actually. Considering that. Get some watermelon there. Heal our partner. Our partner has more health than we do. So I just really, really stink at flying, apparently. Then you go in the cart. And then you ride it out. You ride out the rest of this level here. Well, not the rest of it, but most of it. So you just continue on the ride. Just enjoy it. Just enjoy the relaxing view on the molten lava that would probably kill you by any of the slightest touch. Just fly up here because that's going to go into a pile of lava. Continuing going on forward here. Moving on, moving on. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And after this one, you want to actually fly up here because that's going to turn into a pillar of lava as well. And there you go. And then... Just want to be careful around here because, of course, there's still lava on the ground in case you know you didn't think there was anymore. Nope, their lava's still there. So let's go ahead and heal. There we go. All right, so far so good. Just flying around here. Up. Oh, never mind. Let's go in the cannon. Huh. All right. Uh, fly up here. Got the one up. Yes, got it. Sweet. And proof that. And let's go ahead and shoot over here just so we can heal ourselves and heal our partner as well. And let's launch out. And there's the exit. Now here we have Camellio Arm again. We're going to be fighting him. Unfortunately, we don't have any type of mock terminator we could use because we already used pretty much like all of our abilities. But this guy isn't really a big deal to begin with anyway. In fact, look how much damage he's losing. He's losing like almost all of it. Wait, well, you no, know, that's my partner. Oops. Well, uh, let's just heal my partner there. I don't want him to die. My partner shall not die! I shall never let him get killed ever again. Or ever, period. The only time my partner's ever disappeared is when I'm actually trying to... But there we go. He's dead. I have to use, like, all my healing on my partner because the partner just doesn't know how to actually fly, apparently. That's, the, that's really annoying. Alright, so let's go down here. Go up here. And I'll fight a mini boss. Yep, we're in the mini boss area again. Chef Kawasaki. Very, very, very easy. Alright, let's heal you, Blade Knight, because you're just really, really bad at your whole thing you do. Get to me and on, and then we fight a mini boss over here. I believe this one's uh, Poppy Bros Jr., or Poppy Bros. Uh, Poppy Bros Jr. is actually the little enemy form of that. So we got some more health. I guess I need to heal up that guy. There's little tamale there. Or little uh, beans, not tamales at all. Tamale is a type of uh, product that you actually make by cooking. Anyway, going down here, making your way over, you have bonkers. Kill him. And 
pretty much these mini bosses are nothing. Just like they were before. More beans. Continuing on even further, you can break this down. Because Mennonite's sword is just as awesome as a hammer or a rock. And you can get a one up and some food. Did you ever kill my partner? Not too late now. Oh well. We're already up to 43 points. Nice. Almost enough for full. Now we have Bugsy. One last guy here. Not to be confused with the gym leader. Anyway. And he's dead. Yay. Just kill all the enemies. Kill everyone in existence. Continuing on. Kill him. You die. Uh huh. You'd also die. You all get to die equally. You all die equally. Now here there's another bean down here. Where's my partner? Yeah, whatever. Who cares? And thus, we fight. Wham Bam Rock again. We're fighting him for the upteenth time. I don't know how many times we actually fought this guy before, but here we are in case we didn't die enough. I'm gonna heal. There's my partner. And then... Mock Tornado. Oh, okay, I missed. I missed tapping, rather. If that doesn't hit the hand, I don't know what I'm gonna do. That better hit the hand. Alright, good. That did a good chunk, though. He's almost dead now. Almost, uh, almost dead. And, come on, just one more hit. Oh, come on. Jerk. There we go. Yay! Let's heal. And now we're in, uh, I forget what they call this planet, but we're in that machinery place that's used to the same music as Mennonite's Revenge, because it pretty much has the same exact type of look to it. If I'm going to die anywhere, it's going to be here, because I'm going to somehow manage to fall down by accident without even trying. That's what I'm seeing happening. Like, for right there. Oh, okay, I'm going to grab that, right? Alright, got it. Perfect. Not going to go in there. Well, actually, I have to go in there. Never mind. Okay, so there's a bird on there. Just continue on flying. Kill everyone in our path, because they're useless to us. They are useless minions. They're not even our minions anymore, because they're in a different planet completely. Now, you can just fly up here. And if you want to get some... Uh, milk, it's down there. No real point to grab any of that. However, hit this switch here to block that open. With me If you have bird, or wing rather, or Mennonite's wings, so you can just fly up here without any issue. And, oh, my partner died. Oh, oh well, I have to buy another one. There we go. Hey, that's a blade knight, I believe that is, not a sword knight. Or is that a sword knight? I don't even remember. Oh, hit the wrong switch. I have to wait for it to reset now before I start. Come on. Alright, there we go. Run! Run over here! Come on, do it! Up, up. Alright, almost forgot to do the switch and to go down there. I like the way Mennonite runs. He looks pretty awesome when he does that. When I get up to the second to last one, which I believe is this one here, he should be able to fight bonkers. Yep. That's the one you want to go to. All the others are just useless. And just waste time. Don't want to waste any time. So you're gonna die there, and go in here. And now we fight Heavy Lobster! Yay! He has a more uh, chromish look to him. That's kinda cool. I like that little chrome look he has. Looks kinda neat. I said like the golden form he looked like, so yeah. Meanwhile, I'm getting, oh, I'm trying to better heal there. For some reason, I do better on this boss without a partner. That could be true of, like, any of the bosses I fought here. But, uh... I don't know, they just get... I guess they just get in the way, who knows. And you're going to very shortly die. There we go. Yay! And now we're on Half Moon, the last planet area in the game. Before the final boss. So let's go ahead and run over here, destroy him. Looks like I need to heal pretty shortly myself. I really don't want to die here. Alright, come on. Perfect. Now you get the little warp star. 
And then we get to kill all the enemies through us. I don't, assume, I don't even need to see why Meta Knight would even need to use a warp star. I mean, he seems to fly just fine when I use that. No big deal, though. Let's just go in this door, and there we go. And then, of course, it's like the other one. We're going to have a minecart race. Yay, all the way to the end. You just fly like a little roller coaster. You don't even do anything really skillful. You just wait it out. It's just auto scroll, basically. Then go up here. And then more auto scroll. Sure, you can cancel out by going down there or something, but I don't feel like doing that. In fact, I can actually just break down these things here without even needing to do anything. So, there you go. And I'll just, I'll just take the card the rest of the way. Just a little bit further. Uh huh. And there, there it is. Alright, and I'll just take the star. Why not? Flying through all these little things here. Should have actually grabbed that food, but that probably you'd lose more health than trying to get that in the first place. So here we have both of these guys here. I recommend not uh, not using any of your powers. Just try to kill these by yourself if you can. I recommend that. And you're gonna see why soon. All right. Then we're gonna fly up here. I recommend healing. Kill these guys as well. They give you points, and they're really easy to get die from one sword hit. Kill you while you're asleep, knock you while you're down, etc. Alright, kill you as well. Watch out for the shots, those. They're gonna shoot you if you don't act quick enough. Although they don't seem to be shooting very fast, I'll give them that. Hey, look! What up? Let's go in here. And of course, we have the RPG battle thing. Which is extremely easy because it's an RPG boss battle. Just say here. And just constantly attack it. Then guard. Which apparently your partner doesn't know how to do. Okay, well, if you knew how to block, it would be a lot easier. You beat the magician! Now for the evil knight. I get first attack. Alright. Kill the evil knight to kill him. Alright. Evil knight raises his shield in defense. So pretty much it does nothing, just waste time. Okay, well that's fine. Although apparently by doing that you actually did damage to my partner. I realized my partner had a bit had a better brain. Although it's only AI, so what can you expect from it? AI is usually always stupid. Although, I do take a little bit of damage from those falling swords, I'll say that much. Alright, 68 damage. Stores up power. And you die. And now that just leaves the dragon. The great dragon. Alright. Up, oh, just petrifies, so you're just facing your defense. Okay, that works. Just destroy him with Meta Knight. Yeah, whatever. Let's heal. It even says restored health there, in case you do that. I, I never noticed that before. Oh, I forgot to actually block. That might help. Alright, come on. Just a little bit more. Down to 133 HP. Okay. Now down to 121. My partner really needs to learn how to block. I mean, seriously. It's not that difficult. I mean, seriously. Block. It's not that hard. Alright, three damage left. Just gonna break all these with Meta Knight. Just destroy all those. You gained 133 XP, not that it matters. Your foot speed went up by 4. Your beauty went up by 5. Your dreaminess went up by 1. Your mask shine went up by 4. Oh man, I love my mask shine stat. Man, I, sweet. Leadership went up by 2. And let's take the warp star. 
So, what is Meta Knight going to wish for? I mean, let's see, Kirby was going to wish for peace to be brought back. Mark's wanted for ultimate power. What is Meta Knight going to wish for? Well, we'll find out as he assembles another Nova. Ready. I will grant you one wish. My one wish is to become stronger. So I wish to fight... The greatest warrior in the galaxy! Okay. You will now fight a warrior who was sealed away for fear his power was too great. I will now summon this great warrior once more. Three, two, one, go. Here we have everyone's fan favorite character here, Galactic Knight, making his first appearance in any Kirby game. In Kirby Superstar Ultra, at the end of Meta Nightmare Ultra, completely canon. So that means there are at least two Novas, and Magalor actually explains this and actually confirms this in one of his texts. Anyway, gotta love that music, gotta love that battle scenery. Here we have a fight with Galactic Knight. So, now, if you notice your Mog Tornado, watch what happens when you actually use it on him. Let's see how much damage it actually does, okay? Let's see how much damage Mach Tornado does on him. Does, like, nothing. It just it has, like, nothing to him. So, yeah, not... This guy is, not, like, yeah, I know how to block that move. Now, one thing about Galactonite, though, one interesting thing of note about Galactonite, in this game, you can actually summon warriors, but if you notice, you can actually dodge, like, every attack Galactonite has in this game simply by ducking. The reason for this is that Galactic Knight actually floats a little bit in the air in this game. So pretty much all his attacks, you could just dodge by ducking. Really, he's not all that difficult, especially when you fight him with Meta Knights and you could heal. He's not a threat. Now, he was a lot harder in Kirby in Kirby uh, Return of Dreamland. He was a lot harder. And, and it's funny. I seem to remember Galactic Knight being so much harder in this game than he was in... Than he was in... Uh, then he was in uh, La Return to Dreamland, but he just actually just so much easier in this game. Now, granted, he's a lot harder than just fighting fight with Meta Knight, because Meta Knight could heal and all that stuff. But even fighting him with no abilities, he's a lot easier to predict. And even those fire pillars, the 40 were electric bulls that just give you one quick zap in Return to Dreamland, so he definitely got a lot more powerful in that game. But in this game, he pretty much you could just fly over those fire pillars he makes. Pretty much every attack, I mean, Return of Dreamland fixed everything. The Return of Dreamland has him actually walking on the ground instead of floating. He has, like, look at that. He can't even jump on you properly just by ducking. Now, granted, some attacks like that you can still take. But, I mean, most of the attacks. And then here, you can just duck carefully. If you just know what you're doing. Let me heal up. I'm not even really trying to be anything like too... Ridiculous here, but like I said, Meta Knight's just tears through this guy like crazy. Fly over there above you. But right now, we're just fighting this Galactic Knight. Meta Knight versus Galactic Knight. War greatest warrior in the galaxy versus one who's trained to be the strongest warrior. And here I am messing up like terribly. What am I doing wrong here? My gosh. Here I'm saying this guy is easy and I'm actually like messing up somehow. That's stupid. Probably because I'm just being, trying to be like completely reckless, I'm even trying to dodge his attacks or anything. But that's usually the case here. And he's dead. Or rather, just floats up. And in this scene, you see Galactonite just float up. And he seems to explode. Interesting. I guess he's sealed off again until later, as in, in Return to Dreamland. Or he just recovers and recuperates and actually learns from his mistakes, like he did in um, Return to Dreamland. So anyway, that's Meta Nightmare Ultra, the end. New, clear time, 57 minutes. Woo, yeah, that's a, that's a great score. And my great score, I mean, that's not good at all. But, either way... Is this an ending to it? Uh, or is this just the enter again? 
Oh no, it's just gonna it's just those Meta Knight here, victorious on the cliff. I think. Yep. And thus there go the credits. Now we've heard this same music for credits before, but uh this time it's actually showing Meta Knight's perspective here. This is the music you actually heard at the end of the after beat marks originally, this is the music you heard. But this is since uh, Meta Knight went through all the original six games. Let's go in, well actually original five games. He wasn't in the arena, obviously. Well, he was in the arena, but not the, he didn't actually fight the arena. Y you know what I mean, right? <sighs> Either way, that only leaves two games after this. There's Helper to Hero and the True Arena. Both of which are gonna be one episode long, and when I get to the True Arena area, well, I'm gonna be doing another live stream of that, just like I did for the True Arena of Kirby's Return to Dreamland. And just like in Kirby's Return to Dreamland, I never actually beat the True Arena with no abilities before. So it'll be a new experience for me, and I'm gonna try to record it, and you guys will see me beat it live for the first time with no abilities. That'll be cool, that'll be fun. Uh, I'm gonna have a really hard time doing most of the doing a true arena in this game with no abilities. Why? Well, there are many good reasons, and I'll, sh and I'll cover those when we actually cover the true arena. But the true arena in this game, I think, is a lot harder than it was in Return to Dreamland. Well, actually, I don't know, Return to Dreamland had a lot more bosses than the true arena in this game. This the true arena in this game has like 10 bosses, and that's it. Two of which are just mini boss compilations that you fight one at a time, so really, you're only fighting eight bosses that give any possible threat whatsoever. But that's not what this is about. This is about seeing Meta Knight, seeing him uh, just beat Kirby there, like in that one little picture right there. It's just showing Meta Knight everywhere, because Meta Knight's awesome. And honestly, I think, I, I'm not a big fan of Meta Knight. I think Meta Knight's pretty cool. I just think he's overrated as a character, personally. Maybe that's just me, but I do think it is neat, because Meta Knight is classic, like the, like the uh, other Star Warrior, aside from Kirby. There you see Marks and Kirby. Wait, I don't see Meta Knight there. Hmm. Interesting. I guess not all these are have Meta Knight in them, but a lot of pictures do. Like right there, it shows Galactonite and Meta Knight going to face off for a duel for the greatest warrior in the galaxy. So yeah, Kirby wants wants a peace. Gla Marks wants ultimate power. Meta Knight. He, he just wants to fight the most powerful guy in the galaxy. He doesn't even care. He's just like, yeah, I went all this way, went all this way to collect all this stuff to try and, you know, bring the Nova back together. I just want to fight. I just want a good duel. That's all I want. That's all I ever wish for. So I respect Meta Knight for that. He's pretty awesome how he, you know, he, he's not greedy. He's not hungry for power. He doesn't even care about world peace. He could care less about that. He just, he just wants to duel. He just, he just like, wants a good duel. Just to prove himself how powerful he is. I guess after beating, after getting beaten by Kirby so many times, you have to go on to go on to a quest to see how powerful you truly are. He must think he's really weak after getting beaten by Kirby like millions of times. Either way, you see Meta just flying up there and more. Yes, there is more, but we'll get to that later. The bonus movie Fly Meta Knight is now in the theater. Special announcement: You can now play the Samurai. You can play on the dis you that. You can now play the Nostalgic Samurai Kirby. So let's go ahead and watch the Fly Meta Knight movie real quick in the theater. Let's see here. Theater. Fly Meta Knight. Where is it? Ah. And it actually shows the exact. Uh, <laughs> It actually has the exact original intro of Kirby, except it has it with Meta Knight instead. So, that movie is only unlocked if you beat Meta Knight, Meta Knight Emerald Ultra. And that's that. Anyway, that's pretty much that. So next time on Kirby Superstar Ultra, we'll actually be tackling Helper to Hero. So, and also, I'm, I'm going to do one, I'm going to do whatever ability you want, because as you can tell, in this one here, I actually beat Helper to Hero with every single, oh, don't want to watch that yet, with every single character there is in the game, with every little guy here. So whichever one you guys want me to beat the Helper to Hero with, say in the description and I will try to do it. I haven't done this for very long so it'll be very rusty, but I'll practice up and do the ability you guys want me to do. So next time, Kirby's Professor Ultra will be tackling Helper to Hero with whatever partner you want me to use to show off. 
I will not be showing off all of these because I don't want to show off the arena that many times. I'm just going to be showing off one and showing off the movie that is unlocked by collecting all of them. So I'll be showing that off. So, anyway, that's that. See you guys then.